Tacoma police now confirm the suspect in the death of a three-year-old boy is the toddler's mother. That child was found dead inside an apartment yesterday evening. We get more on the investigation from Fox 13's Frankie Thompson, who's at Tacoma Police Headquarters tonight. Frankie? Detectives say they can't tell us many details right now surrounding the circumstances of the little boy's death or why his mother is accused of killing him. We do know there was a second child in the home when the woman was arrested. An apartment complex on this hilltop now marks the location of the fifth homicide in Tacoma this year. The youngest victim, a three-year-old boy, making him the third child killed in 2023. Whenever you have a victim uh, of a young child, whether it be three or 14, um, it has a huge impact on the department, on fire department personnel, on the child's family, on our community. Tacoma Police Department says officers raced over to this complex Sunday evening after getting a call about an unresponsive child. This was called in to South Sound 911 by someone who said they hadn't been in the apartment but had heard there was an unresponsive child in the apartment. Officer Wendy Haddo says police were allowed inside the apartment and were led to where the little boy was. She says officers immediately tried to save his life, but he was pronounced dead inside the home. The child did have visible injuries. Police arrested the boy's 25-year-old mother and booked her in Pierce County Jail for second-degree murder. The woman's other child, who was also in the apartment, is now in protective custody. The other child was taken to a local hospital for examination. There are so many questions about what happened to the little boy. Though the investigation continues, police say one thing they know for sure is anyone can call 911 to help protect children. If there's ever a thought that a child is in danger or that there is a crime that has been unreported, we are grateful for our community to call, for calling 911, for getting the officers there as fast as they could. Police say the charging documents against the woman will give much more information about what led up to the death of her son. We are in contact with the Pierce County Prosecuting Attorney's Office to get a copy of those documents and when the woman is scheduled for a court hearing. Reporting in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.